On the banks of the River Mourne lies a remarkable town, Cyan Mills. And for 150 years, it was at the centre of the world's linen industry. It was an example too of how industry and those who ran it could have a profound effect on both employees, their welfare, their town. In 1835, the Herdman brothers decided to relocate their linen factories from Belfast to Cyan Mills. They chose Cyan Mills because of the awesome power of the River Mourn and also because there was high unemployment in the area. They believed that they could harness both the natural power and the demand for work in the area. And by doing that, create a factory that would satisfy both commercial demands and also social demands. It would be wrong to suggest that it was all fun and games. Being a mill employee was hard work in damp, dangerous conditions with loud machinery. Work was hard, the hours were long, and the rules were very strict. If the workers were the engine, the real power was the River Mourn. And the Herdman brothers were able to harness this power in machinery that drove the turbines that kept the factory going. More than that, they were also able to generate surplus electricity to provide electric lighting for the factory and also the town of Cyan Mills. Well, I, I'm here in Cyan Mills with Clive Johnson, a local resident, and he's going to tell me a wee bit about why the Herdman brothers came here in 1835. To the best of my knowledge, Declan, in 1833, John Herdman set up a partnership with the Mulhollands. The Mulhollands were a family who owned a mill in York Street, and they discovered that the facilities here, especially the river and the surrounding area owned by the Hamilton family, the Abercorns, would have been very conducive to a mill. So my understanding is that Mulholland actually came and did the initial uh, investigation and indeed some of the negotiations with the Duke. And uh, they were in partnership for some years until Mulholland uh, ended up going to Australia. But the uh, descendant of one of the Mulhollands arrived here about five years ago and she tells me that, it, to the best of her knowledge, this was actually the original site of the initial mill. Where we are standing at the moment. Yes. That is fantastic, that is fantastic. And, and th this building here was part of it. Now this actually would go back to the time whenever this was all part of the Abercorn estate. Uh, the estate manager had a lovely thatched house here. My wife was brought up in it. It had servants' quarters and everything. And this was a coach house whenever uh, my father-in-law took over this place. Uh, and uh, for many years, we didn't even realise that until we converted it back into stables. My goodness. That, that hidden history. And, and of course the Herdmans have, have played a big part in Cyan Mills. The, the mill was at the centre of town life. Yes it was. I think that really uh, the Hamiltons the, 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 the Hamiltons and the Herdmans obviously because those were the days whenever the Herdmans they built the local school, they had the local doctor, you know everything socially was emanating from, from the, the mill. And it's a town that is unique. To this day, it remains right. unique. The Herdmans have gone, but the, the, the Cyan still has the, the, the sense of the mill here and of the, that that was the nucleus and the heart of the town. Yeah, the, as you and I know, one of the problems with that is that sometimes it produces a paternalistic attitude in a community, that the community is looking to someone else. And there is a sense in which there's a vacuum now uh, because there is no longer that person there really uh, benevolently caring for the community. The river flows on, we go on and on, nothing stands still. That's exactly right, Declan. Herdman Brothers, who had provided employment for 170 years in the town of Cyan Mills, closed in 2004. Industry, like the rivers we have looked at, roll on and time does not stand still. However, the legacy that the mill left is preserved by the Cyan Mills Building Preservation Trust and over 40 buildings have been listed. The town may have changed in character but the memory and the legacy will live on.